Hello again, everyone. Welcome. So welcome to our hypothalamic hematoma webinar. So my name is Felipe Borlot. I'm, uh, for those who don't know me, I'm an assistant professor of neurology. I'm an epileptologist at um, University of Manitoba in Winnipeg, Canada. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we have a special night here, and it's my great, great pleasure to be part of this event. Uh, with the support of Dr. Maria Luisa Manresa and Dr. Leticia Sampaio from Brazilian Child Neurology Society, Dr. Katia Ling from Brazilian League Against Epilepsy, and the endless support of Hope for HH Foundation, uh, we're going to spend uh, the next two hours uh, learning and discussing relevant topics about um, hypothalamic hematomas. So in order to do so, we have three young stars in the epilepsy field and I'm really thankful they accepted my invitation. Uh, if you haven't heard about them, it's just a matter of time. I'm pretty sure they have an outstanding uh, research profile and I know their ability to present great lectures engaging you all. So last but not least, we have the president and the vice president of the Hope for HH Foundation. Um, they're gonna share their personal experiences with you and everything they can do to help families with um, patients with uh, hypothalamic hematomas. So I would strongly recommend you all to stay on, with us until the end. Um, and let's get started. So um, this is me again. So our, our webinar is from 7.30 to 9.30 uh, Brasilia time. We're gonna have four parts. Um, each speaker will have about 20, 25 minutes, and then we're gonna have five minutes for questions after each presentation. You can send your questions through the chat. Um, um, you can send them in Portuguese or in English. If you want to speak during the question and answer time, just let me know, and we are able to provide you with the microphone if you need. Um, just talk to me, just send me a message, and I'll let you speak as well, okay? So uh, first of all, I would like to start um, with a few questions for the audience because we want the speakers to know you, okay? So I encourage you all to respond if you can, if you're not driving, uh, please. Um, the first question is, what is your specialty? So are you a pediatric neurologist? Are you an adult neurologist? Are you a neurosurgeon or any other uh, professional in healthcare? Please. Okay, Jeff, I think we, we're good. Yeah, so most of people are pediatric neurologists and we also have um, a very close adult neurologist number of people here. Uh, next question. So are you an epileptologist? By that question, I mean, did you have extra training in epilepsy, EEG, or most of your practice has been dedicated to epilepsy patients? That's what I wanted to know. Please. I think we are good, Jeff. Yeah, most people are epileptologists here in the audience. I think you're gonna enjoy this presentation very much. So next question. Uh, how many years uh, from uh, in practice since your graduation from medical school? So I don't wanna make anybody uncomfortable, but it, it, we, it would be good if we know, know if you are uh, close to the younger age or age or. Okay, Jeff, I think we're good. All right, most people are from five to 15 years in practice already. Next question. Um, are you able to list uh, some seizures, seizure types that may be present in children with uh, HH other than gelastic seizures? Yes or no? All right, Jeff. Okay, most people can list uh, other seizure types. That's very good. 
And then finally, my next question is, are you able to list at least two comorbidities in patients with HH other than seizures? Okay, I think we're good. Yes, most people are familiar with the comorbidities of HH. Um, so with 